Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of my playing playthrough of Pokemon White. Last time we chose Smuggler the Snavy, our starter Pokemon, received a Pokedex, and travelled from our hometown of Nubema to Akamula Town, catching Beard Dog the Lollipop on the way. This time off, we're planning on travelling to Stratton City, where we're hopefully going to meet this Fennel person, I think Professor Jitterbird was talking about. If we're lucky, perhaps we'll catch some more team members on the way as well. Uh, I'm gonna buy... Let's buy a few Pokeballs. Let's buy 10. Do you still got the Premier Ball, I wonder? If you buy 10 Pokeballs in this game. Here you are, thank you. Yay! Premier Ball. Okay. Uh, potions, I don't think we'll need super many potions. I'll, I'll buy three just on the off chance. Uh, okay. What's this? What's. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I wonder what this guy sells. Hello. Oh, you're the meal guy. I'm not really interested in buying any meal. Sorry. Uh, let's talk around and see what the folks have to say. This PC still looks pretty funky to me. Oh, but the professor's PC? Did this let me phone Professor Juniper or something? I'm interested. Oh. Very, very funny game. I feel like the game is almost mocking me. <laughs> oh, great. Okay. It lets me see um, how many Pokemon I've caught. Okay, so we currently on our team we do have Smuggler the Snavy and Beard Dog the, the Lily Pup. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using Beard Dog on this playthrough, but I guess you could stay in the team for now. I honestly don't know much about most of the Gen 5 Pokemon, so what's Bianca to say? Oh, I think we already saw that. Okay, let's get out of here. Sounds like something's going on in the plaza. Well, let's have a little look see. Interesting. Wonder what that is. Some weird Pokemon jump out of the tall grass and attack. But you can make friends with this Pokemon if you reach out to them. Well. I wonder what's going on over here. Bugs, come here a sec. Oh, this is definitely some like evil team stuff going on here. <laughs> My name is Getsus. I'm here representing Team Plasma. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to talk to you about Pokemon Liberation. Huh? What? I'm sure most of you believe that we humans and Pokemon are partners. So we've come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that perhaps we humans only assume this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to the selfies commands of, tra of their trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. Can anyone say with confidence that there is no truth in what I'm saying? No way, yikes. I mean, I don't know, man. <clears throat> now, ladies and gentlemen, Pokemon are different from humans. They are living beings that contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. Tell me, what is our responsibility toward these wonderful beings called Pokemon? What could it be? Liberation? <laughs> I like that um, during all of this, my character is just like sniffing chair and chair more or less at this point. <laughs> so, like, just stirring intently in the back of his head. <laughs> kind of offsets the mood a little. <laughs> That's right. We must liberate the Pokémon. Then, and only then, will humans and Pokémon truly be equals. Everyone. 
I end my words here today by imploring you to consider the relationship between people and Pokémon. And the correct way to proceed. We sincerely appreciate your attention. D oh. Jeez, he's got the whole squad on. I'm guessing that's the, um, the guy we saw at the start of the game, gets us. And the opening sequence. But that's page 15 of each day. Delivery Pokemon, that's not even possible. <laughs> the old guy's like, oh, maybe. The young guy's like, nah. I like my Pokemon bottles too much. Oh. Oh, I know this guy. He was also in the opening sequence. I believe his name is Anne. This is one of the few characters I actually know. Yeah, Anne. Uh, I've heard he's very famous, so. Among the Pokemon community. Your Pokemon. Just now, it was saying... Slow down. Uh, you talk too fast. I feel like Sharon is talking to me sometimes. <laughs> Uh, what's this about Pokemon? Talking? That's an odd thing to say. Yes, they're talking. Oh, then you two can't hear it either. How sad. My name is Zen. My name is Sharon, and this is Bugs. We were asked to complete the Pokedex, and we just left on our journey. My main goal is to become the champion, though. Oh, Sharon, me and you're gonna run into some problems. <laughs> The Pokedex, eh? So, you're going to confine many and many Pokémon and Pokéballs for that, then. I'm a trainer, too, but I can't help but wondering. Are Pokémon really happy that way? Well, Bugs, is it? Let me hear your Pokémon's voice again. Oh. You're challenged by Pokémon Trainer N. To the Perlian. Let's go, Smuglord. So... <clears throat> we're challenged by Anne, who seems to fight for Pokemon activist rights, just, yet the first thing he does is challenge us to a Pokemon battle. Interesting way of going about things, but okay. I like the song, though. This bops. Uh... Over a vein. Oh jeez, Perlian took that like a tank. More! Let me hear the voice of your Pokémon. I mean... We don't have ground on this thing, so I can't actually like hear the voice. But I suppose this will, ha this will have to do. And definitely seems like an interesting character so far. Uh, I think if we just hit this thing with a couple more vanups, it should go down. Don't think I'll have to bring out Beer Dog from this bottle. Smug Lord should be able to handle it. Oh, and I cut the end things off. Very nice. We'll take the level up too. Thank you. Level 8. I wonder what level um, Snavy it evolves up. I would guess 16, but I do know, I think it was the Gen 4 games, the starters in those games evolved to level 14, so... As long as Pokémon are confined in Pokéballs, Pokémon will never become perfect beings. I have to change the world for Pokémon, because they're my friends. Heh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sharon just looks at me and is like, well, okay, weird flex bro, but uh, you do you. But I'm not gonna worry about it. Turn your Pokemon help each other out. Listen, I'm going on ahead. I want to battle the gym leader in the next town, Striaton City. Aim to battle gym leader after gym leader. The best way for a trainer to become stronger is to challenge the gym leaders in each area. Okay, onwards we go. Uh, is there no running shoes in this game? Have we not got running shoes yet? I really thought we would have got them by now, but okay. At least we got some nice time music. Let's go up the steps. 
Beautiful scenery and relaxing sounds. Oh man, I surely love this place. Sure makes me feel happy. I have to admit, that is quite a nice view there, bud. Hello? Who lives in here? Oh, is this a Mancino? Chiquip? Sing us a song, you're the piano man. You didn't play anything, unless you are secretly the person playing um, the song in the background. Sure. Oh! I actually kind of hear the drums in the song. I guess these... That is the house of the people who are playing this music right now. Let me give you the benefit of my experience. You listen? The number of Pokemon you can take with you at one time is six. Oh wow, this guy's a genius. Truly the prodigal son. Onward to many trainers train their Pokemon by having them battle. Okay, so this seems to be just general information you get from that if you're a new player in Gen 5. These um, NPCs kind of tell you the basics. Oh, is the TV still over stats? Oh no. The weaving, weaving walk. Or we'll walk for short. Huh. I like the TV mechanics in this game. I think I already saw that last episode, but. It's just an interesting little way. Like an interesting use of the TVs. Oh, Grandma, come back. <laughs> people do everything in their power for people. People treat these Pokemon with love and affection. So what I think our mutual relationship is. I guess he was listening to the speech the Gattis was given. I mean, it seems half the turn was, so... Doesn't really surprise me too much. Nope, hold on a minute. If you get strong, you can move forward. You can move forward, you can be stronger. Let's get more journeys. Hello? Stickery? This is a Pokeball I got in the past. I've got to give it to you. Okay, yeah. Three Pokeballs. Hi, hi. Let's play Pokemon Rock, Paper, Scissors. Yes. Here goes Rock, Paper, Scissors. Okay. Uh, fire. Shit. Best of free. Water. Wait, are you literally- can I win? Is this something I can win? Water again. I don't think I can beat this little girl on the rock with her scissors. Oh wait, no, never mind, I can't. <laughs> I'm just terrible at this. Alright, well. I'll go in my chin. Or go in my shield, sorry, not my chin. Go in my chin would be quite painful though. Alright, onwards we go. Good afternoon. Uh, is this the prison board? Oh no, this is just a picture. So, for today's question of the day, is what is your favourite hometown in Pokemon? Personally, I like um, Twin Leaf Town in Gen 4. Oh, we're getting a phone call. But I think uh, the, the hometown in this game is quite cool as well. As long with um, New Bark Town in Gen 2. All of the um, starting towns are actually quite nice to look at, especially like 
the ones with updated graphics. Obviously, the original Gen 1 and 2 games don't look as good in their original versions as they do in the remix, but that's fine, and they be expected. Anyway, let's see what Mum wants here. Bugs! How are things? Are you and your Pokémon getting along and enjoying your journey so far? I needed to talk to you, so I called, but I'm gonna hang up the x transfer receiver now. But she just called to say hi, I guess. Oh, wait, what? Are you following me? What was the point of the phone call? <laughs> oh, it was to stop me walking. Like, Mum's got the metagame going on here. Professor Juniper said that you were probably headed for Strat on City by now. Run shoes, please. Yes, I can run. Yes. So when you're when you're running, <coughs> I can't speak. When you're wearing the running shoes, you can go anywhere in a flash. Let me read you the instructions. Hold the B button to run faster. Da da da. I bought these a long time ago and stashed them away somewhere. How do I was cleaning up? Guess get a clean occasionally. Enjoy your trip. Oh, run, running seals. I never thought I'd miss running so much. Okay. Big boulder. So we need strength and we thought I assume. Uh, I guess we don't have that yet. I wonder if it's the first hit gem in this game. What, I wonder what the first hit gem in this game is. I guess... It'd be strength, because I can't see... Any other reason you'd come back to Route 2 later on in the game. Battles be Oops, sorry. Battles between Pokemon trainers are serious affairs you can't run from. Okay, that's a Pokemon trainer there. Let's uh, go grab this Pokeball first, though. We got a free potion. Maybe I shouldn't have bought those potions, but... Nah, let's go bottle this guy. Oh, it, it's a bridge. Well, aren't, don't I look dumb now? Across the tall grass I go. And here we go. We're fighting youngster somebody. A trainer catches another trainer's eye. That is the start of Pokemon Battle. Youngster Jimmy. Yeah, I could tell he was a youngster because the clothes he was wearing. He's gonna sound like Padrat. Man, Padrat looks like really needs some sleep. Uh, the bottle of the reddish eyes, I guess. Let's go for a vein one. Ooh. I should have healed up. I should have healed. Whoops. Okay, um... Let's go for another vein up. Okay, we definitely cannot take her vein up, let's say. Just use a potion. I forgot the heal before I left, I can move a turn. But it's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. Uh, this pot rod should go down with our van whip for tea. I'm glad he wasn't using bait earlier, because fencing is annoying. So. Level 9! I'm actually gonna run about in the tall grass and see if I can encounter any Pokemon that look cool for the, my team. Alright, uh, Patrat. If not, this bit will just be sped up. So. I don't plan to use the pot rat, but I thought I may as well catch one, so...
May as well... Oh, whoops. May as well use these potions early because I'm not going to, um... Probably not going to use them so much later on, so... Spell this guy. Oh, never mind, he's not a bottler. He's not a trainer. He just jumps off ledges. Okay. See ya, dude. I just walk on the road? That's where all the trainers are, man. Everyone knows that. Nope. Speaking of a trainer bottle, here we go. Because my cute Pokemon will do its best in a really cute way. Round one, fight! Perlian, okay. We've already fought a Perlian. Uh, there was this level, funny enough, against the end, so... I don't think we should run into any trouble with this. Uh, except I'm about to run out of Vain, Vain with PP, so... We're going to squeak by our tackle. Don't really want to go back to the Pokemon Center, so... I'm just going to, um, rely on Tackle for probably the rest of this ride. Oh, we learned Rop, okay. Um, Rop is definitely not going to be a move we're going to be keeping. But... Um, it's good to know, at least. It's good to know, at least, you know. So... Um, okay, yeah, I thought so. Alright. Who are we gonna run on today? Uh, Patrat, okay. Any hidden items around here, I wonder? Nope. Okay, Lillipop, Lillipop, go my Lillipop! Okay, so... We're gonna come up against Junkster Ruins here. Obviously. Unsurprisingly, he has a Lollipop. How funny would it be if he uh, actually just sent out... ...a completely different Pokémon? After, like, going on about Lollipop. Be class A, he marks over. So, this thing should only take a few more hits. Like, one more tackle should end this thing. Half the middle of the pup is kinda cute, but. Maybe I should start grinding up, but if I do grind, do any grinding, it will be sped up or off screen, do not worry. What's up here? Oh, it's the two po- Wait, are these the two uh, Pokeballs we've seen when we were at Akamula Town, correct? When we were looking over the balcony, and we got that really nice view. I like the attention- I like the attention to detail there, so it's pretty cool. Oh! Hi, bugs! Okay, Bianca's gonna come out of nowhere. Yeah. Anther stays left. Hey, l hey, listen! Wait, that's not... You're not Navi, what are you doing? Let's have a Pokemon bottle. Please! The Pokemon I caught up will come a little stronger. Ready or not, here I come. Okay, here we go, versus rival Bianca. I love how serious like, the protagonist lose, uh, looks every time. Like, the wee Slater comes in for the, the bottle. Okay, so yeah, she has a lollipop, unsurprisingly. We're just gonna stick with Smuglord for this. The smuggest of lords. Um, and we're just gonna try to tackle this thing to oblivion. Jeez, that does a lot of damage. Hot hits, but... Ouch! Critical! Alright, I think this should kill. Nope, not quite. Alright, Lear lowers my defense. It's 
she's not exactly correct. Oh, and she's a potion. Of course she has a potion. Well, to play the Bob and Bianca, we also have potions. Although these leers are definitely softening me, softening me up for her next Pokemon. So, although it won't bother too much that she doesn't attack at all. So. Uh, so that's her Lily popped down. She should be sent in Asha on now, I believe is her choice. So uh, was the Pokemon she picked. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna keep battling because we have one vein left left. And it should do quite a bit of damage. Super effective. Stop move. Yep. Ouch. Bianca is in all the criticals in this fight. So this is not a critical. I've just noticed now that the music changes when your PSP gets into the red. That's quite a nice little feature. Huh, I can win. Woohoo! You are tough cookie bugs. I don't work hard on my training my Pokemon, so we won't lose anymore. Okay, bye bye. And with that, that is and with that, Bianca will exit stays left again, okay. Oh, cut! Okay, so... Cut and strength, we've seen... Two hits the M's that I assume we're going to get quite early... ...in the game, considering... ...we've seen them in Route 2. Uh, we've made, we finally made it to Strats in the city, though, so... Pick it up on X speed. At the little corner. Let's go make the folks... Oh, the camera kinda got me. What do you have to say? Oh, we got a grip ball already. Nice. It's like the guy in um, the Hoenn games. It's like, when you go through the far, it's like, you did a great act, have a grip ball. <laughs> Rip. This man got straight up destroyed by his wife in a Pokemon bottle. Hi, traveling tra trainer. Your family must be talking about you right now. I want to brought the Pokemon bottles, and... Yes. The Pokemon do have nicknames. Indeed. We have... They have the best nicknames. Smug Lord and... Is the smuggest of lords. And Beard Dog is the beardiest of dogs. So, I assume most of this is just general stuff. Uh... I have to talk to Fennel, but... Okay, so I guess I know where Fennel is. Like, maybe he won't talk to us until after we defeat the gym? Hello? Oh, so this is a gym, right? Triple Trouble. Some trainers train themselves in the Pokemon is in the Dream Yard. Okay, where's the dream yard? So does it appear? Okay. Perhaps we will travel there in a bit. Wow, they're actually just handing out um all sorts of poke walls early on in this game. But this wall is quite a powerful wall as well. Tuner scared. Hello. So this guy took on the gym and lost three times, but it's at least. I had a sim. I just said of an old factory pulled. I just said of an old factory is a place we call the Dream Yard. There's an unusual Pokemon that can make dreams appear. Uh, Cresselia? <laughs> is Cresselia around like, the factory? Isn't she not, like, the dream Pokemon? Or, um, more type Pokemon are weak against grass type moves. I know more stuff. 
fix all the kids fix say, I was like, I know stuff. Lily, I have a favorite model. Her name is Alessa, and her Pokemon are strong too. You can tell you can tell how strong trainers are by the number of gym bosses they have. If you're a trainer, you should challenge gym leaders to collect lot bosses. Yep. To DTS. So let's retreat. Okay. Yeah. So it's still a lot of this. These trainers are still saying um stuff about like general game stuff, like knowledge that you will know if you play past Pokemon games. Um, but every now and again, there is a trainer in the town who'll say something interesting. It's quite hard to train six Pokemon at once, so I've heard of trainers for one three Pokemon at a time. Training tactics. Interesting. Uh, I don't think I can interact with anything else, so let us go downstairs. Like, this guy is an example of what I was talking about. Like, Alessa, this is a bit random. Perhaps she shows up later in the game in some shape or form. Or, she's... Perhaps we'll run into her in the city. Or... Maybe we'll even run into her out here in the Dream Yard. But... You know, that, that's something that's quite unique among a lot of these trainers, is that most of them will just say generic stuff. But... Every now and again you'll come up against an NPC who will actually talk some story. And I, they're the NPCs that I like talking to. They kind of give you the lore. So this is the trainer schedule, let's see. Called abilities, yep, yep. Know all, I know all about abilities. So, oh, Sharon looks like he's here. I'm not surprised. Uh, or you can have a Pokemon hold on Everstone also as well. Would you like to take a quiz about status conditions? Yeah, sure, I feel like I'm pretty good. I feel like my knowledge about status conditions is quite good, so... What's of the following items cures poison? An antidote. Item that cures... Cures paralysis is the paralysis heal, but what are the following items weak to sleeping Pokemon? I mean, it's literally in the name. Oh, we got a full heal, nice. Um, I will talk to you, sir, as soon as I get past these desks. <laughs> Some moves can only be taught with TMs. TMs we use them over, so you don't want to use them a lot. Oh, whoops. I did not want to read anything. Yep, I'm good. Let's talk to Sharon. He was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few moments ago. Maybe you walked right past him? No. <laughs> Yeah, I think I might pass that and go and heal first, because... Yeah, let's definitely go to the Pokemon Center before we fight Sharon. Thankfully, it is just next door, so this shouldn't be too hard. Um, I wonder if the Pokemart sells any different items in this turn. I doubt it, but... It should be no... It should do no harm having a check, so... Nope. Maybe they'll sell more after we beat the gym leader. Okay, let's go, Sharon. Yeah, we don't want to ruin the trainer school like we ruined my bedroom. That's true, Sharon. Especially since our Pokemon are like, well, my Pokemon's like six levels have higher than that last time. Oh. Okay, this actually might not be good. I don't. <laughs> um. Because at this level, Tepic should have Ember. And moves that never miss and moves that attack first. There sure are a lot of different moves. He's talking about priority moves. And 
moves like earliest and stuff. Oh, uh, let's use Rob actually. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think Tepig's first, like, fire move, I'm, I'd assume, would be Ember. So, yeah, that's gonna be a lot of damage. Nice crit will kick Bob. Oh, he's got Wormberry, I think. Yep. Okay, I'm not actually 100% sure if Smuggler could beat this tapping right now. Thankfully, Teal Whips are basically a waste of turn on his part because. It only lowers my defense. Okay, well, we beat him anyway. But yeah, the chill ups only lower my defense, where uh, um, Ember is a special the attack move, so. Oh, uh, let's actually send Beer Dog in. Um, just to get him some experience, just in case I do decide I want to I wanna use Lollipop. Uh, we're also not going to keep him in, we're just going to switch treat him a little bit. And Smoke Lord comes back out. Should be able to tank this tackle, hopefully. Yep. Okay. I think Smoke Lord should be able to take at least one more scratch. I'll probably hit it this next turn, though. Actually, we're gonna play Rusky, we're gonna go for another Vein Whip. I think this should kill. Yeah. Um, does Sharon only have two Pokemon, or did he have another one? Like Beard Dog gets level 5, gets Odor Slough. No, I only have two. I see. Losing Juice still means I have a lot to learn. I didn't even get to read what he was saying, because the weak buys are quick. But it's fine. <clears throat> So, learning to use items, well, is definitely important then. Oh, here, Bugs, I'll give you these berries. Sweet, we got some orange berries. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when it hits Pikachu without a bottle. But if you give Pokemon Mon made items like potions, they can't use them. Yep. Okay, to the Pokemon Center we go. So, we're gonna heal up. Our Pokemon. And... Actually, I think I'm gonna call this episode here. Um, next time, we should travel through whatever these are called. On our right, sorry, I forgot the name of the place. Next time, we will travel through the, G the Dream Yard. Yes, the Dream Yard, okay? Um, but until then, I will see you guys next time. And, um, yeah, bye!